News for Jack's anchor Melanie Lawson spoke with college students at the University of North Florida about the outcome of the election. We came to the University of North Florida to talk to young voters. Yesterday, the students held a student led forum where about 300 students came out to hear from their peers about the election and to ask questions about what this means for them and also a conversation about civil discourse when you don't agree. We got a group together this morning to discuss what is most important to them and how they will move on after this election. These honor students not only want to engage in politics, they also want to be considered and courted by potential lawmakers and they feel that doesn't always happen. So we have five of these students. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. Um, let's kind of talk about what are some of the major issues that you think the country is facing right now? I think some of the major issues that specifically young voters are concerned about are abortion rights and immigration policy. All right. What about you? Uh, I think environmental is a very big um, uh, issue with young voters, and I think um, foreign policy is very important. All right. So human rights here and abroad. All right. So LGBTQ issues. Right. And probably immigration as well. All right, so immigration, I'm hearing twice. And for you? Minority rights, the housing crisis, uh, yeah, uh, all those things. Yeah, I mean, interestingly enough, everyone's a little different. We can't feel ignored anymore. We are very vocal on issues. If you can't tell in the last couple of months, especially on foreign policy, and it just feels like we've often been ignored. Making sure that our voices feel heard. I mean, um, the conflict in Gaza has been a huge issue for mm -hmm. young voters. And, you know, both candidates that we had um, for the main two parties ignored that. And I think that definitely swayed some people to third party candidates. They also understand that the source of information matters because they get news everywhere. Gen Z as a generation is very exposed to social media where we're also vulnerable to misinformation. So I feel like the education system, that's where some political critical thinking has to start for young voters to become an even more powerful force than they are right now. One thing these students say is that they are resilient. They are a generation that's lived through school shootings. They went to high school in the middle of a pandemic. And whether they are disappointed or encouraged by the election results, one thing they said they will do is press on and continue to fight for what they believe. Melanie Lawson, Channel 4, The Local Station.